Hello and welcome. I'm Michelle Anderson of Clarinet Mentors. Today I have a video for you that really focuses on learning rhythm. This is an interesting technique involving using your whole body to help you get a better sense of rhythm, but also to understand rhythms that are written on the page. This is a quick introduction and I actually recorded it as part of my series on how to play clarinet without the clarinet. I will say that I use exercises like this on a regular basis with my students because I think it's extremely effective. So if you find that there are rhythms you find challenging to learn or you don't have a good sense of rhythm, this introduction might be worth exploring. I'm going to have more videos in future that go into much more detail on how this works, but it's kind of a fun exercise. And I'll, I'll just say I don't give a lot of explanation behind how it works, but I do tell you how to do it. And so if you have any challenges with rhythm, I want to encourage you to watch today's video and test it out for a week or two. Let me know what you find with it. It's one that kind of looks goofy, it feels goofy, but it really works, which is why I'm recommending it to you here today. So I hope you enjoy today's video, and I look forward to hearing your comments in the comment box below. A lot of people find counting rhythms tricky and learning rhythms to be tricky. And I really believe that rhythm is one of the easiest things to improve if you have an organized system for doing it. Now there are lots and lots of ways to improve rhythm, but I'm going to show you one thing that you can do, and you can do it without your clarinet, that will start to help you think about rhythm a little bit differently. And this is just an introductory exercise, but if you learn it, it's kind of one step down the road to improving your rhythm. I call this the amazing body rhythm machine. We're going to try and do some rhythm things with many parts of your body. And there's actually a good reason for doing this. Uh, when we stimulate different parts of our body, it activates our brain um, in many different ways and helps us learn this a lot faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to use lots of parts of our body for this. I don't have the camera on my foot right now, but we're going to tap your foot with whichever foot you like, right foot, left foot, with just a steady pulse and let's pretend like we're going to play something in 4-4 four, four time because that's a really common time signature. So right now my foot is stomp, stomp, stomp. It's being a metronome. It's keeping time for me. All right, for this little exercise, um, we're initially going to take one of our hands on one of our knees and tap along with it. So right now I have my foot tapping a pulse and one of my hands, doesn't matter which one, tapping a pulse as well. With my voice, I'm going to just count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to keep repeating that. Now I've got a handout attached to this video. In the description below you'll see a link to it that gives some different rhythm patterns that we're going to work on here with our amazing body rhythm machine. And um, it's handy to have that handout in front of you but once you get the idea of it, you can also invent your own rhythms. If you're out and about somewhere um, where you don't have a sheet in front of you, you can do your own variation on it. So let's say we had a bar that was just four quarter notes. In fact, I recommend you start there. So my foot's tapping the pulse. One of my hands is tapping the pulse. My voice is speaking. With my other hand, I'm going to tap the rhythm that's written on the page. Now, four quarter notes will kind of match what my other hand and foot are doing. So this one's a fairly easy way to get started. But the idea is tap different parts of your body. So in this case, it'll be my left hand is tapping what's on the page, four quarter notes. And I'm going to repeat that pattern a few times. So I'll start with my voice. So I have like a bar of rest before I begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It'll feel pretty silly. Actually, it doesn't really matter where you hit. Of course, be gentle. Don't be bopping yourself hard. But um, the idea is to move it around your body. It's, it really helps activate our inner sense of rhythm. All right, now let's look at the second rhythm on the page is for beats of all eighth notes. There's a language of rhythm that's handy to learn when you're trying to improve rhythm. And whoever invented this decided that when we split a beat into two, like eighth notes, we use the syllable and. So my right hand and right foot are feeling the big pulse. My voice and my left hand are going twice as fast. Initially, 
You might want to start this just with your hand in one place till it starts to feel comfortable and then move it around your body. So I'd start with my voice. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. and sometimes just doing this is tricky at first. Getting this hand, in this case it's my left hand, to move twice as fast. Now you can swap roles with your hands. You can switch. Once I feel like my voice, which should be going one and two and three and four and, once I feel like my voice and hands kind of have it, then I'm gonna start moving my left hand around my body. One and two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and. And this can be tricky. This can be challenging. So you can see how you could do this somewhere where you don't have music in front of you. All right. The next bar on our example here has our printed rhythm being one quarter note, two eighth notes, one quarter note, two eighth notes. Now you have a choice here with what you do with your voice, and I'm going to let you decide what's easier for you. Some people find that when we have eighth notes mixed into the bar, it's easiest if our voice thinks eighth notes all the way through, exactly like we just did. One and two and three and four, and they find that easier. Our left hand, however, or whichever hand you're choosing to use, is going to clap the rhythm written, written rhythm, which would be like this. One, two, and three, and four, and. So some people like to just speak the number alone when there is no subdivision in the rhythm, as I just did. One, two, and three, four, and. Some people like to speak the subdivision, but still being aware that your hand is only going to clap where we would start a new note with that printed rhythm. So here's what that would look like. One and two and three and four and one and two and. Now this is just my voice and my left hand. I'm going to get my foot and my right hand going to make this complete. Again, I'd probably start with my voice and my pulse hands and then I would start with my hand in one place, but once I feel like I start getting it, I'm going to move it around. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. And you see how that goes. Whoops, I got suckered in at the end there. It's hard to keep the independence here, but it really helps your inner sense of rhythm. Now, on this video, I'm not going to demonstrate all the rhythms on the page, but I've given you a variety of quarter note, eighth note rhythms. And what I recommend you do with them initially is treat it as a one bar pattern that you're just going to repeat until it feels easy. Then you can try stringing them together in the lines that are written there. And so this becomes more of an exercise where you'd want to have the worksheet in front of you sitting and practicing it. But again, if you're somewhere without those resources, make up a rhythm, make up a four beat pattern and test it out on your body. There are ways to expand this into 16th notes and more complicated rhythms, and you might want to explore that. But for right now, I'm going to leave you with these quarter note, eighth note patterns as a great introduction to the amazing body rhythm machine and things you can do to make it play more easily. Thank you for joining me on today's video, and I'd love to hear from you. I do check your comments about twice a week, and I'll respond to them if you have a question. I'd also like to invite you to join my Clarinet Mentors community. It's completely free. You go to www.learnclarinetnow.com. If you sign up, you'll get an educational newsletter from me every two to three weeks, and it'll have a video like today's. It'll have some of my recommendations on interesting clarinet recordings or gadgets or events, and I'll also invite you to special events that I have. These might be online lessons or online courses and things like that, and um, I just want to make sure you're aware of all the fun opportunities out there for clarinetists. I hope to see you on my next video and thanks for joining me today.